who you know who does it better than this I'm the boy you done did it I'm on top of the list trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish every day to me it's like a solar eclipse I What's up y'all, it's Bully and I'm too cool, it's Rafiq Geek, welcome to my channel, I'm about to react to an honest trailer right now, this is for Ready Player One, it's 5 minutes, so they went in y'all, I'm excited. Today's episode is brought to you by the US Army. In a world where every movie is based on pre-existing books, comics, and video <laughs> games, watch the snake of nerd culture devour its own tale. In a movie based on a pre-existing book, based on pre-existing movies, yes. comics, and video games. Yes. So this is how imagination dies, with thunderous applause. <laughs> Ready Player One. Enter the Oasis, a virtual world that lets you be anything you want. From a Navi who joined a boy band to the <laughs> love child of David Bowie and Admiral Akbar, where you can see, hear, and feel everything that happens. But since you control it by running on a treadmill in a skin tight bodysuit, the whole experience probably smells like ass. Dude, you should really air out that van. I mean, crack a window or something. <laughs> Clan up reaching, with five Easter egg reaching. hunters who lack the self awareness to not call themselves Gunters. Gunters, Gunters, Gunter. Gunters, as in egg hunters. There's Parzival and Artemis, star crossed lovers hiding a tragic secret that underneath their hot online avatars, they're both hot offline <laughs> real people. But she's got a birthmark. <laughs> oh. A faint discoloration on her face, and you can barely see it in most lighting? No, <laughs> the humanity. No, look away! It's so horrible! Uh, they reach it, they reach it. Joining them is H, who hides the fact that she's a girl by talking like this. See, you gotta be more careful about who you meet in the Oasis. Daito, the Japanese martial artist who in reality is a Japanese martial artist. <laughs> and Sho, the gamer no one can believe is an 11-year-old boy, even though everyone who's ever beat you in Halo ends up being an 11-year-old boy. <laughs> so wait, you can meet anything you want, and they all went with slight exaggerations of themselves? Come on! Be a ten foot tall bag of Funyuns, a talking raptor, Alan, a cloud made of microscopic Steve Shimmies. Do something creative. Watch out for the evil CEO, Nolan Sorrento, who's got an evil plan to use the Oasis to make money, as opposed to the current CEO who uses the Oasis to make money. I bought all these power-ups for this challenge and I lost it all. I need one of those. Okay, don't spend all your money. Now, these... Gunters must find three keys to win control of the Oasis, hidden by an awkward Willy Wonka. <laughs> Using their video game skills, they pop culture it. knowledge, they it's based on the best-selling book by Stephen King, who hated the movie. And what they probably could have guessed just by looking at him. His biggest fear was kissing a girl. Because in this <laughs> world, the best people to run a trillion dollar company are the biggest snobs at a comic con. A fanboy knows a hater. See mom, I'm not wasting my life. <laughs> you go to night school. Do you like references? Oh, yeah. You better, because this movie's got more references than a Big Bang Theory episode about the Justice League challenging the Avengers to an anime edition of Trivial Pursuit, full of obvious nerd touchstones. Batman. Holy hand grenade. What a Gundam dick. Oddly specific this is awesome. Stuff. Stop hating. Okay. All right. Am I being punked? Just not enough to pay for that something about Mary hairdo. Goldeneye. Playing as. Odd job. And an extended sequence that asks, what if Kubrick was so hard up for cash that he sold The Shining to Universal Studios Florida? Whee! Now let's go to 2001 land. I want to ride the space baby. So ride along with visionary director Steven Spielberg as he brings his trademark wonder to a tale of an America in chaos, where we ignore our problems by using recycled pop culture as an escape and only take action when our corporate overlords threaten to put more ads in our pay-to-win video <laughs> games, while the offline world continues to slide into extreme poverty and environmental collapse. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good fantasy, am I right? Good one, Steve. Starring Miles Teller, I, I mean Ansel Elgo, uh, uh, no, I mean Alden Ellenreich, I mean Tyler Sheridan, yeah? Nailed it. <laughs> Sweet Lord, no. No, no, don't show it again. No, my eyes burn. Ben Mendelsohn, oh. age to the Isork. Oh, cool, T.J. Miller's in this. <laughs> Said absolutely no one. <laughs> Arthur Slugworth. Come with me, and you'll be oh. in a world of pop regurgitation. Get good, noobs. 
and this guy, staring directly into the camera while he strangles Ty Sheridan. That's <sighs> unsettling. We are VR Troopers. Uh, VR Troopers. Holy hand grenade. Wait, this movie is 90% references, and you didn't count one, two, five before using the holy hand grenade of Antioch? A fanboy knows a hater. Needs more gold blooms. Christopher Robin, I don't feel so good. I am the Reaper. Damn. Stacy's mom has it going on. It's My silky smooth voice is smooth. With the pool impression is so good. Smoothies. Yeah, that was good. Screen junkies be killing it. But they were low key reaching for that one. They were reaching. They made it too long even for the reaching they did. Yeah. 